If you ever thought you'd like to learn to sew or like to improve your sewing, this is a fantastic opportunity. You get a 60-day trial of online sewing classes, and these classes come with these new machines, and there's 475 classes with 35 experts to uh, get you started um, with your new sewing machine. And it doesn't matter if you buy the sophisticated Jubilant, the Zeal, the Joy, or even the $99 Zest. Start over here with the beginning one, entry level machine, reasonable throat space, has the free arm with an oscillating hook. We'll let you hear it. Has 15 stitches. Here's the stitches that it has. You can see where we sewed them out. We sewed through uh, nine layers of denim. Did a little simple buttonhole. You select the stitches with a knob. It has a um, number of different feet. With a basic storage compartment. Now this is the Joy. In addition to having the uh, oh size of it, about the same. It has the top load bobbin, so you can see how much bobbin thread you have. And these are also smoother running. That rotary hook tends to be smoother running. It also has the advantage if you run off the end of the fabric, it doesn't make a big knot and break your thread. And then it has a handy little cutter, a little better lighting. In addition to the length adjustment, we have a width adjustment and some more stitches. And it also has a number of accessories, three feet, and a four-step buttonhole. There's the four-step buttonhole. You can see what it looks like when it's done. You can do a little free motion with this because you have the ability to drop your feed dogs. Now we're going to go to the Zeal. Zeal has everything the last one did. Similar size, rotary hook, um, built-in needle threader, um, one-step buttonhole. It has a little more sophisticated storage compartment. The buttonhole, you just stick to the button in here and it makes a buttonhole to match. It has a, a larger collection of feet and place to store them. This is for doing your overcasting, your zippers, your decorative stitches, and your uh, blind hem. Has a little ruler on there. Here's your blind hem. You can see a very unobtrusive hem when we did it on the stretch polar fleece. Nice big button for the reverse. Twin needles, width, selector, and length. And then this is the Jubilant, and it has a lot of stitches, 80 of them to be precise. It also has a information display screen so that when you change the stitches, you get to see what it looks like. Uh, really easy to change stitches. You just spin this knob and it, I can go from one to 80 with just the spin of the knob. Similar size. We didn't get a piece of fabric to listen to that one. It's a faster machine. It can be very quiet too if you run it at low speed. It has your finish the pattern button. 
and it will pivot with the needle down. So you put the needle in the fabric, and then when you sew, you can pivot on it. You can see that's what we did here when I made this heart, a star. I did the continuous line quilting. You sew along, and when you come to here, you stop and pivot, and then you sew to here, and you stop and pivot, and stop and pivot. So it's like having a third hand when you're doing that. Um, the decorative stitches are nice. We'll give you a tour of some of the decorative stitches here. Enrique did a lot of work sewing these out for me. Eighty stitches is a lot, which um, gives you a lot of options. It handles heavy weld. This is a piece of heavy naga hide, uh, including the decorative stitches on it. I did the three-step zigzag and a triple straight and a regular stitch, which this makes for a very strong uh, 